Hey Van friends, we wanted to show you the power system that we installed into this 2022 Sprinter van. It features a dedicated secondary alternator that's installed onto the engine to charge the house batteries super fast and super reliably. In this vehicle, it's putting out nearly 150 amps of charge at idle. That's roughly equivalent to about 2,500 or 3,000 watts of solar panels on a sunny day. But of course, this will charge on a cloudy day and at night. And when you get up to speed driving, the charging current goes up to over 200 amps. So let's take a look at this beast of a power system. First, here under the van is the Nation's 280 amp alternator kit. This is wired up with four aught gauge wire and a special harness to the power system area that is in the rear passenger side of the van. The customer brought us this bench cabinet and we were able to fit the entire electrical system into this tiny space. All right, let's open up the lid and you can see right away there are two 320 amp hour Lithionics batteries. These have internal battery management systems, BMS, with a CAN data bus connection here and here. That CAN bus is wired into this thing, which is the WakeSpeed WS500 regulator. This device is what controls that alternator to make it capable of charging lithium and other types of batteries exactly how they wish to be charged. In this case, it's been programmed to charge these Lithionics batteries and can communicate directly with them using the CAN bus for the highest performance and safety. This system also features a Victron Energy smart shunt that provides detailed battery status and monitoring, a Victron MultiPlus 12 3120 inverter charger, a Victron Lynx distributor for our DC bus bars and circuit protection, and the Servo GX, which allows the customer to see all the information about their system locally on this seven inch touchscreen and to control things like the inverter charger. Also, if the Servo is connected to the internet with Wi-Fi like this fan is, all the same information and control is available remotely from anywhere in the world using the free online portal from Victron called VRM. Finally, from the back of the van, you can open this door to access the combination 12 volt DC and 120 volt AC load center. This is where all the various electrical devices will be connected to, uh, the so-called branch circuits, to things like lights, fans, the refrigerator, outlets, all of which are protected by fuses or circuit breakers. Since this family will be doing a fair amount of driving in between campsites, they won't even need solar panels on their roof because the secondary alternator is so powerful. There is a shore power connection that they can charge up the van when they have utility or grid power, but they probably won't use it very often. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about electrical systems with dedicated charging alternators like this one, we encourage you to check out our blog at vanlifeoutfitters.com slash blog, where we have a post about secondary alternator systems, including a free detailed wiring diagram and a discounted product bundle.